Thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, Dr. Bhattacharya, I wanted to start with you. On January 11th, 2021, you and Mr. Sanjeev Agarwal wrote an article in an Indian art, uh, periodical, The Print, entitled, Majority Indians Have Natural Immunity, correct? Uh, I, I said, uh, I cited some seroprevalence data. Right? Yes, you said, majority Indians have natural immunity. And in that article, you said, quote, India is re reaching very high levels of natural immunity. You said that, right? The, the, the article argued for vaccinating older people. In and India. you said, and this is January 11th, 2021, you said there are reasons for optimism at the beginning of that year. Well, sir, after you said that, there were approximately 24 million cases of COVID, a Delta variant ravaging India in the months to follow, and there were almost 313,000 deaths from COVID, three of whom were my extended family. Now, you said there were reasons for it. You said there were reasons for optimism at the beginning of the year. Unfortunately, sir, there are reasons to question your judgment. Sir, you were an expert witness in litigation in Tennessee, correct? You were you were an expert witness in litigation in Tennessee, correct? Okay, I said in that article that I was uh, for I was arguing for vaccinating older people. A hundred million doses should have gone to the old because I anticipated that there might be a wave. Sir, in that, that article, in that article, you said in nearly a billion. Indians have already been infected. The vast majority have required, re recovered from infection and have lasting immunity to reinfection. You were dead wrong. I now, said sir, in, article, in Tennessee, there were 100 sir, million please, doses of the vaccine. You're mischaracterizing the article. I'm I said reading in the article, your article. There were 100 million doses of the your vaccine article. available. Sir, I'm reading your should go very the words. Because sir, they how much, vulnerable. Sir, did you participate in, as an expert witness in litigation in Tennessee? Uh, yes, I did. I and in Georgia that, and, many and how much were you paid as an expert witness in that litigation? No, I, I have taken no money for any of my activities. On I'm COVID. glad because your advice and your testimony was worth what you were paid for it. According to judge in that litigation, Judge Crenshaw, you said he said, "quote You are not qualified to this to speak on the issue that you are testifying on, and that quote you are advancing a personal that, agenda." That is, that is, Close that is quote. Actually you That's are, from his opinion, you, sir. That's from his opinion. Did you In read fact, the full opinion? You were, did you look yes, at the I have it right here. I have it right here. It literally says that I'm a qualified under the Dalbert, so that's just a mis misrepresentation. Sir, he says here, the court, quote, is simply unwilling to trust Dr. Bhattacharya, close quote. Did you participate in as an expert witness in I litigation in Florida? In other cases sir, it's just a simple yes or no. Up. Did you participate as an expert witness in litigation in Florida? Yes. Okay, in that particular case, the court said... Which case is the, that? I don't know which one you're talking about. This is the case in which you defended the governor's ban on mask mandates. Leon County Circuit Judge Cooper said his position was, that is referring to you, a distinct minority and again concluded his interpretation of the study that you opined on was incorrect. That's a uh, second piece of litigation that you were in. Okay, Sir, so just so we're clear, that was and, overturned and Did you on participate appeal. as we an expert witness case. in litigation in Manitoba, Canada, sir? We actually won that. We repeat that. We won that case on appeal. You're, you're misrepresenting the facts. No, I'm not misrepresenting what the court said about your opinion, sir. And how about in how about in Canada? How about in Canada, in Manitoba? You participated as an expert witness in that litigation as well before yes. the Court of Queen's Bench Chief Justice Joyal. Did you not? I did. And in that, sir, again, the court went through your opinions and said, quote, your opinions are not supported by most of the scientific and medical community, close quote. And, sir, uh, that was not one on appeal in any case. Sir, you know, you quote something called the Ministry of Truth, which you jokingly refer to in your expert witness, I'm sorry, in your uh, opening testimony. Are you aware of something called the, quote, publicity department of the Chinese Communist Party? No. Okay, would you, I, I presume that you would never want to talk to an organ of the publicity department of the Chinese Communist Party, right? 
I, I don't know anything about it. Sir, you gave an interview on May 5th, 2020 to China Global Television Network, which is owned by the publicity department of the Chinese Communist Party. And you know what they did with your interview? They posted it on their Facebook page. You became a mouthpiece of the publicity department of the Chinese Communist Party in early 2020. Congratulations. Thank you. I yield back.